And today we have a treat, you guys. This box, uh, Mallory's dad found at the dump. So this all literally came from the trash. There's a bunch of cool stuff in it. So there's this, which is a uh, pistol rated body armor, which is gonna be the focus of the video today. We're gonna test this, see if it still works. It was issued, I don't know if you can read that, but it was issued in 1997. Uh, and Kevlar typically has a five-year shelf life. I don't know what happens to it after it expires, but I know that all the Kevlar I have has about has a five-year uh, expiration date on it. So we're gonna try this. There's a bunch of weird stuff in here, like this. Neck collar, all of these holsters. You guys can go through these holsters and see if there's anything that fits your guns too, by the way. Except I call all of the Safari Land clips you can have the G-code ones, I don't really run G-code. All of these holsters. Mostly SIGs is what I saw in there. Tactical cryothyroidotomy kit. This makes me sound really smart when I try to read this, but whatever that word is, there's like 10 of them. Don't know what the heck these are weird medical stuff, like if you are uh, spreading open someone's wound to get in there. Oh God. <laughs> There's a lot of tweezers. This is all like like weird surgical stuff too with all the clips. Like if you're trying to like pinch an artery or something, they have these little, little clamps on there. If it'll focus, there we go. Those little ridges, so you clamp it down and it stays cl clipped. It's cold guys, I can't talk. What is this? Something with lubricant in it. Whatever this is. Chest seals, which are, I don't ever want to use one. It's for like a sucking chest wound. Sharps container, so for needles and stuff, there's a bunch of these. More seals. More tweezers. There's a, oh, this is a duty belt, inner outer duty belt. Actually, I might take that. I might keep this one. We got all these pouches here. Some drop leg pouches. Wow, a drop leg IFAC. Nice. A little uh, oh, man, uh, man purse. Oh, where did the where'd that one thing go? There was a there was a thing in here. Oh no! I might have lost it or threw it away. There was a thing in here that was like the case and instructions for like drilling into bone to do an in bone IV. Wow. It was gnarly. There's just a bunch of gnarly medical gear in here. And it all came from the trash. So we're gonna trust it with our lives later. I'm gonna fill up my IFAC with it and it'll all be good. Expiration date 2013. <laughs> this makes me feel really good about all the stuff in here, guys. What is that? Let's try it. I don't know. There's like 10 of them though. Why it was thrown away. Also 2013. Also 2013. Oh, My guess is that he was like, he did some sort of training for LEO, military, something. This is an airway tube. That's what that is, airway tube? Yeah, shoved on your airway. Started breathing. I just really like this. Gunshot like wounds. Op open up to spread your wound. <laughs> oh dude, I can't imagine. We'll get back to this, this guy right here. We're gonna test this out. Are you gonna put it on? <laughs> it's so disgusting. Look how sweaty oh. it is. Oh, man, On the it. inside, oh, yeah. it's look like yellow. Like Ugh. the fat belly marks. Of Gross. Right there. So my guess is this was this guy's like duty issued under his uniform. We can wrap around that barrel. That's true. Let's see if it'll go around the barrel. We brought a towel. Brought a towel to put behind it so that it stays a little bit squishy behind it because if you put soft armor up against something rigid, it won't do what it's supposed to. It needs to have room to give. So that's why this is here. We're gonna try it out. Also, sorry if it's real wind noisy. I don't have a microphone with me today and it's kind of windy. Yeah, no, it's not gonna fit. This is such a janky setup. Someone's gonna get mad at how janky this is, but you know what, I don't care. This is what we got, so. All right, squishy, squishy enough to be a human. We're gonna try it out. 
I brought every caliber of handgun that I have, which is, well, actually that's not true. I have nine mil and I have 45 and I have 22 and 22 Magnum, but out of a tiny 22 handgun, so. Start with nine, yeah. Yeah, because nine's like the most common caliber, I feel like, a CZ P10C. Okay, we'll go look at it. <laughs> clear, range is clear. Because all of you guys seem to think that if I don't show it in the video that we don't clear the range. So that's cool. Where'd you shoot it, right here? Yeah. You guys see that little hole? We Did it stop it? Through? Hey, it stopped it. Nice. All right, so it took one round of nine so far. That's the round in there. Good. Yeah. yeah, you can feel the bulge in it. Right there. All right, this is 45. It's 230 grain. If it'll focus on it. Focus, focus. Come on, you can do it. It's not gonna do it. Just put that in the gun. <laughs> in there. All right, 45. It stop it? Yeah, super bulgy in the back though. Where does uh, right where's the, the hole? Right the this is the hole? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like bull bulge sound, dude. Bruised. Like that would break it stopped ribs. stopped it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much with soft armor, the general consensus is if you get shot, you're breaking ribs, yep. but you'll live. That's like, damn dude. Yeah, this is bulgy That's... and very stiff, really. It got very stiff. But for having been issued in 1997, I'm like it still works. Yeah, I mean, so we got 22 LR out of an SR22. I think I hit it in the Velcro. But... Nothing went through though. So it stopped at 22, which is not super surprising. Now we're doing 22 Mag. This is a tiny revolver from North American Arms. I think it's got some kick. Looks like you hit a bottom left. It looks like you hit it somewhere down here, right? Yeah. Oh, right there. Oh, there we go. See that little hole? Little bulge on the back? Didn't go, Didn't go through. This is an AR pistol, chambered in 45 ACP. So we're gonna do that, and then after that, let's just mag dump some handguns into it. Sounds good. Uh, I heard a ding. <laughs> that one definitely hit harder than everything else. That was the first one where you could hear the barrel. Is that it, right there? Oh, oh yeah, you can. You can feel the bulge out the front. Oh, damn. Nothing. It's, you caught it? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Wow. I'm actually impressed with something that old. All right, mag dumps. Okay, nine mil, nine you got mil. Nine, nine mil, you got the 45 AR. They're gonna dump into it. Ready? All right, I'm ready when you guys are. Two, one. Well, seeing as we definitely shot it from the inside going out, <laughs> there's gonna be some holes in it. <laughs> uh, oh wow, it just straight. You ripped it off and threw it down? Yeah, it, it tore, is it Velcro? Yeah. Oh yeah, it ripped it out of the Velcro. But look at it, it looks like a balloon. It's like, it's all inflated. It's like six inches thick now. Oh, we still got this one. Uh, a little puffy chest. Yeah, it's pillow. puffy. I don't know what we're trying to prove with this video, so take it as you will. <laughs> that one shot from this side, though. Yeah. Because that's the grease ring from the bullet. Stopped it. <laughs> yeah, stopped it on the <laughs> other side. It, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, reversible body armor. You can okay. wear white or blue. I'm freaking freezing, so we're going to leave it at that. We found body armor in the dump. It expired, or it was issued in 1997, and it still worked. Still got so, this that's kind of impressive. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it there because I'm real cold and I don't have gloves. Well, we have to see what will penetrate it. Ah, fine! <laughs> Someone take out a rifle! We'll do one round of 223 out of this AR. Yeah, this is the back panel, so this is brand new. Uh, pretty I safe to say it probably through. just went right through it. Range is clear, we're walking down. That just zipped right through it, I think. <laughs> Yeah, here's the hole. Can you guys see that? It's lightened up a little. There you go. And it went right through. <laughs> so safe to say when armor says it's rated for pistols that it's telling the truth. They probably wouldn't lie about that. Okay, now 
I'm freezing and we're ending the video because <laughs> it's really cold. I'll put a link below, go support us on Patreon too. Uh, gun videos on YouTube get demonetized. I've had my top 10 performing videos demonetized all in the last month. So everything that you help us with on Patreon goes a long way for me to keep doing gun videos. So go check us out. Subscribe to the channel too. Tell all your friends. Send us stuff to shoot at. I don't know, actually if you want to send us stuff, email me.